Right, so, start over here, and up north. But, think a way around them all. So, what's this old mission about? Jesus Christ! Benton! I'm not following you into that forest, you woolly sack of mange! Someone's definitely worried about their livestock. Whoa! Oh, typical. Finally, to the point where I can get a good view of them. To, to, to be oh, good. Actually, that's a good angle. Oh, I like it. Takes in. That's actually a nice angle. He certainly looks quite concerned and a little suspicious at the same time. Right, let me just see if we can find anything about first. Anything to read about this person first? Nope. Will anyone help? I think he went off to the north somewhere. To the woods. So we're looking for a sheep in the woods. Oh, great. I'm assuming we just follow this road a little bit. I'm just assuming I'm going the right way. Because, um. First to find a sheep in this? Seriously? Sunan, guide me. Dude, can you give us a bit more clarification, please? Like, a direction? It sounds like a sheep, and not a happy one. Wait. Oh, I hear it. Where are you? Oh, God. Hold on, that hold on. will be torn apart if I don't do something. No, you do not. <laughs> Are you go. Fenton? Your master is calling you. Maybe it will come if I whistle. It works. The sheep follows my whistle. Come on, let's get you home. You do want to be home, don't you? I'm just whistling periodically to make sure it follows me. Ooh, actually, let's go this way. There you go, good sheep. Come on. One more. There you are, Benton. You have escaped for the last time, you walking mutton chop. You're welcome, by the way. Hold still, you woolly git. Was he supper or something? I went through all that just so you could kill that poor beast? A man like me can ill afford to slaughter a sheep for victuals, but the Elderman demanded it, and I must obey. Between you and me, I've been dying to murder this bastard for ages. <laughs> Fenton was a royal pain in my ass. Still, you did me a good turn, stranger. Take some meat for your help. The Elderman won't miss it. It's mutton stew for me tonight. Farewell. I was genuinely wondering where the hell that, um, Evil the Sheep took. <laughs> ah, dearie me. Ah, oh, that's good. Okay, for a little while I'm actually going to change this over to... Change over to the light weapon, just for a little while. 
There's something a little bit different. Faster attacks, move around a bit easier. And I want to show you what I mean about this specific thing. So, at least this is what I'm gathering from this anyway. I could be completely wrong, but soon see. The other way? Nope. <laughs> I hope they bring a customization thing around because I'd I'd like to have another shield in its place, but I mean I have to choose one that's more for the perks rather than the look. Although to be fair, there are some shields I just there there are some shield patterns that. It doesn't matter how damn good the perk is, but look, if it just doesn't look, you know, if it's something that's very, quite the turn off for me, no. Right, in case, like, some of the things are more like the skull and bones type, I'll, I'll just give you an example, I'll actually show what I'm referring to, so, like, for example, there's, um, there's a good one to show you. Something like this, not really my even that, yeah, it, oh, here's a good one, sarcophagus, like, the whole chain and skull, like, if you took that off, maybe, but, I mean, it could have the best perk in the world, but, with the way it looks, not really my style, I mean, hey, it's a really good, it, ma it certainly matches its name, don't get me wrong, but just, the look, not really the style I'm trying to, you know, this is not really the um, not really the style I'm trying to combine with with this with the character mo with the character with the outfit I'm giving Avor and the weapons and all that sort of stuff. Just yeah, it doesn't really fit him as for me personally. So yeah, just I just want to give you an example to explain what I'm talking about. So I. I make the best out of what I can with the perks and the looks and you know for me it's sort of 80 to 90 percent perk and 10 20 percent um the uh the the uh, the sh you know the, the design of it so but if something is that much of it looks that yeah just not something I want to look at the whole game yeah then I'll ignore it now, to show what I'm talking about, this thing is locked, and it's kind of a, we have to figure out kind of what's going on, so I'll read this, because I've already kind of read them for your benefit. The Psalm Scroll from Desperate Monk. Lord, today I am sending more Danes for you to judge. Let the deaths cleanse their sins. May your guide, um, may your, may, may your will guide my hand so I can keep this holy work to avenge my brothers. Praise be to the deliverer of... Praise be the deliverer from evil. So, I kind of followed the blood a little bit, and I saw. And the way I kind of figured this was, look, how about just follow the tracks? And it kind of made me think, well, there's a mission nearby, so put two and two together, as they say, and you basically come up with the probable location of the monk. That's the way I figured it out. So. I could have done a mission a lot earlier, but I didn't want to because it is a mission, so, yeah. Just to explain to people what the hell I was referring to. <laughs> well, along you see something here, so... And I'm pretty sure this is going to be where that mission starts. You get the key for it and this everything. This tomb so. has been opened. It looks like someone lives here. Okay. Okay, so how the hell do I get in there then? Aha! Uh -huh. Very 
peaceful music considering what we might be about to co come up against. <laughs> Remember Chertsey Abbey? The deadly sin committed there. Bone and sinew, tooth and nail. People splinter apart like dead branches. Okay. I still see the glassy stairs when I sleep. I buried them all. My friends, my fellows. Where the hell is this all coming from? Like, seriously, where are we hearing this from? Do you remember Chertsey Abbey? The deadly sin committed there. To God and the man, many martyrs. To our mighty God above. Bone and sinew. Tooth and nail. I have, 19, I have 99 vengeances like I must carry branches. out. For such is the holy work, I swear to you I will not fail. I count ninety and ni I ninety and nine souls of heaven taken by the invading heathen horde. I buried them all. My Excuse friends, me? my fellows. All good monks whose dirty knees do pr uh, prostrate for do him and Mary and Jesus. Abbey, the deadly sin committed there. I must feed the memory of lost saints for each uh, I have named, for each have a cross and a lashing upon I my body. The, the 99 marks on me and I for the 99 that died I and, buried them and the 99 more my I shall friends, take. My fellows. Praise be to God in every branch of his making, brother Lark, Larkworth of the 99. Bone and sinew, tooth and nail. That'd be a nice um, portrait for what it's worth. I mean, it just, it, and I say it, I'm not for the religious reasons, just mean for the design of it. I mean, it's not done by paint or anything, but it actually looks quite good, considering. I mean, you can't, you can't knock, you know, something for the effort sometimes, yeah. If it looks, you know, like, it, it's actually quite, considering the time this is set in, that's actually quite, quite good for the etchings and the way it's done you know you can't you can't fault it honestly you can't fault it i'm not saying it's perfect i'm just saying you can't fault the effort that's People all i'm saying splinter apart like dead branches so where's he talking from because i still see the glass for those you killed Whatever you have suffered, it was not at my hands! Your thirst for vengeance led you here. Rest now. <laughs> nice and quick. <laughs> for the old hand axe. Cool. Go on, grab the, uh... What's which I think it's gonna be a nickel ingot, I would imagine. Maybe wrong. Nice, it was actually nickel. I know I could get hearty, I know, I know, I could, but. For those who want to see the path back, that's why I'm doing it. Oh, nice nickel, cool. That's what I was hoping for. There's our tiny, nice. Excellent. Go and do this mission. Hachi, there you are. Let's go. So I wonder how we could hear him so far, unless he was peering at us from 
and speaking through the ground, which I suppose is entirely possible, <laughs> for what it's worth. Hey this mission. How am I supposed to be happy with only your stupid face to look at for the rest of my life? You said you love my face! I do. Which is why I wanted a smaller, sweeter version of it. Ostero will bless me with a child. That pagan rock holds no magic. Besides, there are wolves. Big ones with teeth. I am going to that stone, and you cannot stop me. <laughs> Sorry. I've known couples that are actually friends of... Well, not, I shouldn't say friends, but I've known people that, um, that weren't, well, yeah, no, I've, I, I, I've known couples that have had their, their, their good old spat at each other, I've known, uh, no couples <laughs> have had their own tune from, with a modern version of this kind of thing, ah, oh, that's funny. Oh my god, okay, what are we working with here? Can I get a better look at you two? Nope, Abel's in the way, of course she is. Alright, let me get a good look at you two. One at a time. In the hell. Oh, get, get that, Ooh, that, that will, that'll do. Get the nice sun shining off the leather. Wow, you actually wearing that full leather one? Hmm. Cool. Good on you. <laughs> Wolves. Big. Uh, yes, we know that. The... Oh, what? I've seen her similar design before. Wow. Okay, this game is definitely proving that that that. Ubisoft's invention of character models is just basically non-existent to the point of almost pathetic. Like it's it's almost like ah oh, yeah we we'll get some like we're gonna set like a three like five or six character models with the exception of certain obvious differences from certain unique soldiers or play or main NPC characters. But it's like, yeah, we'll just shift some clothes, adjust a few um, size of certain uh, shape and size certain body parts, whack some hair on, you know, free frame the eyebrows, remold the nose just attach, you know, and boom, we've got a new NPC. No, you haven't. How about make a new model? I'm just saying, like, what the hell? Like, it, it, is there no imagination in character modeling anymore? Like, honestly. Are they that? Are they that? Like, I. It's, it's, oh, dearie me. Please, Ubisoft, don't do this in the next game. Please, make some new character models, or at least do more. Not just the same generic crap, like, six or ten, and just shift some hair pieces. Like, please. Be somewhat creative and not with the same actually make some new things. I'm sure it can't be that hard. I know you love your copy and paste routines, but come on. Like, just don't insult the us fans, please. Ones with it's teeth. not a difficult I'm request. Stone, and oh. you cannot stop me. Why do oh, you quarrel? Dear. Because my husband has the courage of a quivering dormouse. All I ask for is a child. I'm not sure how I can help with that. There is a rock, a place of great power. They say that all women who spend the night there come away pregnant. From a rock? From the fertile power and energy it holds. I must see it for myself. Will you protect me on the road? Is this Every more... woman I know who's gone to the rock has left with child. It's a miracle. And this is not a Christian <laughs> belief. The legend says that Ostera, the goddess of spring, transformed a bird into a hare at this very spot. The hare then laid colored eggs for her festival. The place has great magic. Birds becoming hares, hares laying eggs. 
We Norse have stranger stories. Here we are. Are you sure it's not someone comes out in the middle of the night and rapes the woman or betroths them on the night for a one-off one-night stand or something? I, I know I'm sadly bleak and grim, but I'm just saying. I mean, to come away pregnant from a stone that has quote-unquote powers, like, let's be real for a second here. I know it's not a great way to say be real. I'm just saying, like... Like seriously, if this place was as magical as it says, you'd have half the women that's in, in, in the age of Britain here literally lining up. I'm just saying if it was that bloody magical, you know, it's like, oh no, we, we could just pick a guy to be a father. But no, we would get pregnant. We'll line up here for our, for our special night. <laughs> I, I know, I know. I, I've, take, I've taken that probably so far out of context and over glorified I'm just saying but seriously I mean if it, if it is that magical like you, you you sort of expect like of all these pious people you, you'd expect a quite a lengthy line like come on they're gonna keep a secret like that for very long <laughs> they've been preaching that from you know bloody you know from bloody England to Turkey Seriously! <laughs> well, maybe not that far, but I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Great Ostara, bestow your blessing upon me. Give me that which I so desperately desire. A child. Ostara shall grant your wish through the power of a sacred ritual. Do you both seek the goddesses? Saka. Oh this my woman God. has come to take in the power of the Rock of Fertility. And she will all leave satisfied. From you, no less. However long it takes, and whatever is needed of me, I will give it. Of course. Um, excuse me. Are there cuckoos in the nest? Yes, my dear. Feel the power of the goddess. Take it all in. But it is so big. Yes, darling. Oh, yes. 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 Filling you up. You feel the power. Yes, you feel the power. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, are you glad you came? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's just a Seriously, I probably might have to get. Oh my god! Sorry! Oh, that's hilarious! <laughs> I actually called that! I actually called that! <laughs> A one night stand! I can't believe I actually called that! No such thing as magic, it's a one night stand! I'm, okay, the other one's not so... was bleak. But I'm just saying! I called it! It had to be one of the two! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I'm just like, you got to be kidding me! As I take the gun and push them, I'm like, I'm like, I've got to be nosy for a second. I can't believe the voice singing on that one. I'm actually really surprised. Oh my god, sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm like, there's no way this place has magic. Well, it's magic in the sense that the guy offers his services. I'm not saying people don't, but but might do. But I'm like, it's no way this. The essence of the gods <laughs> is certainly spreading itself all over Sussex. 
<laughs> no. Leave them to their um, ritual. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where the hell's the line of people waiting? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I was taking this place out of the context. But to be fair, I mean, come on. Oh dear. How many children has this rock brought forth? I'm not sure I honestly want to know to be fair at this point. A lot of women have had their greatest desire granted. <laughs> a believer honorific. A believer's honorific. Great Ostera. Last month I gave Last month you gave me the greatest gift imaginable. A beautiful baby girl whom I called um, Osirith. Osirith. In your honor. I could not have imagined that nine months after I engaged all night in the sacred ritual uh, would this wonderful gift be mine. My husband loves her dearly. Watches her closely every day. Says how miraculous it is that her hair is the color of of the dying sun as we are da both dark and as dark as the night both dark as the night huh. how the hell is that not a giveaway oh yeah that's the blessing of the sun quote unquote I mean okay I'm not saying like for habit of adoption purposes that is it nice to have a child and think of, like how's it not obvious it's not your own like, how's the fun not figuring this out? Like, oh yes, it's the blessing of... Oh my god. Ugh, do people not look these days? I, I, I'm not saying that for, surrogates, uh, sur uh, for surrogate mothers... I'm not saying, like, that that's a bad thing. Don't get me wrong. I'm saying in the context of this. Like, the fact that these... Like, they're going through the whole religion. It's like, ooh, you know... I, I, I can't actually go down that path. I'm just saying that, you know, it's like, all I'm saying is, like, the father's not connecting the dots. He's believing in the fact of faith, not in what is more realistically, realistically, what is more realistically happened, or happened in a more realistic way. Like, he hasn't connected the dots. And it's happened that amount of times? Wow. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. <clears throat> I mean, I'm not saying that sometimes it, there is necessities and the odd, well, not the odd occasion, but I, I'm just saying for, like, how would you... like? I suppose if you're pious enough, you probably could look past it as a gift. But, I don't know. I suppose I'm just seeing. I, I suppose I'm just looking from a practical perspective, you know, not sort of like the whole religious way, which it does mean I don't. It does mean I can't appreciate the religious f side of it. I'm just like looking from like the almost like a, almost well not pragmatic, but certainly the practical and logical. Like, have you noticed the difference in hair color? <laughs> I mean, I know that you know the kids. It's like. Was it like 30, like, was, I think, was it 30 to 40% of both mother and father or something like that? And the other, um, four, th like 30, 40% is purely the kids' DNA. Like, I get that. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, you know, you, you know, usually... There's enough features to be able to make it... I mean, okay, the hair might be a little bit different, but everything else would make sense. I know, just an inclination. Anyway, I'm just saying. <clears throat> Perhaps I will come to you again, and you will grant me a son. Oh, well, of course you'd love to, wouldn't you? <laughs> I mean, because it's a place of, quote-unquote, magic not. <laughs> just a guy who loves spreading his seed. Anyway, but the wisdom of the ancient fathers and mothers continue to live in you. Ancient? Never mind, never mind. <laughs>
Never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> I mean, I get why they have the rituals, don't get me wrong. I'm just. That's. I just find hilarious how I called that. Although, to be fair, if there was some actual natural power, like, of actual nature, like, <clears throat> I know, whether it be a plant that makes you more fertile, or whatever it may be, do you know what? Sure. Like, genuinely would have been awesome to see that. Like, it's, you know, cook up a few plants that make you more uh, fertile. Sure. Like, hell yeah, I, I mean, hell yeah, of course. But the fact that it just went that way, I'm like... It, like, it had to happen. It would have been really awesome to see that plant wave, but... Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What is going on here? Oh, Lisa. You silly, silly... Stay there, girl. I will help you out. But I very seldom follow it. You're hurt. Hold on. I'll carry you. Where are we supposed to be going exactly? Oh, I see. We're going actually going out. No! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You're supposed to pick your stupid sod evil. Loose it and then go. That's the last time I go chasing rabbits, especially white ones. Now, just a little rest, and I'll be ready for more adventures. You heard yourself hunting a rabbit. Hunting? No, he just seemed, well, in a hurry. I wanted to see where he was going. Take care with that curiosity, girl. You never know where it might lead. Farewell. Alice in Wonderland, sure. <laughs> I love that one. I love the name of that mission. That was, that was really cool. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> well, on that sad note of completely missing that jump there, <laughs> we'll end it here. Yep, uh, next time we're going to finish off uh, Sussex, I'm, and I'm not doing this fishing because this is actually technically in Hampshire. So, uh, but next time after those, we'll uh, finally be signing the uh, London Ark. Uh, yep, and then we, unless there's one in Kent, we'll probably move off to uh, Shropshire because that's the next uh, power level up from there, unless there's one in Kent. Kent, I was about to say something else, which is not appropriate. Um, by complete accent, I might point out. I, I'm sure for most of you watching, you'll probably figure out just... Yeah. <laughs> I, th I think... I think that the missions had... That the missions had an effect on my tongue. Let's just... Let me put it that way. Let me just put it that way. If if you know, you know. I'm just... So <laughs> I'll see you all next time. Oh my god.